Hi friends, today we are cleaning and lubing a dirty and hardworking chain. Such a dirty chain will not shift as perfectly as it could and should and it will be wearing down itself and the sprockets much quicker. That could easily be three times, five times, even ten times quicker. So subscribe to the channel, get your protection gloves and let's get to work. For cleaning the chain you can use old t-shirts, old socks, but the best material for that is something like an old towel because uh, it has a better surface as you can see. These little things will go in between um, the, the chain links and will do a better and quicker job. As an example, this is a cloth from uh, Kersher which I love. Uh, on this side these are smaller, on this side these are larger, these are very good. Of course, old thing for cleaning, washing the car will work as well. You don't have to use any chemicals for cleaning the chain, but some type, some kind of the degreaser uh, will make your job a bit easier and more thorough. So you can use um, the biodegreaser for example, but uh, I'm not really using any sprays because these are, even though this is biodegradable, the sprays are not eco-friendly, so I'm not using uh, them. And this is actually the can uh, from the beginning of my channel. And this, this is not a finish line, I'm just using the bottle, this is uh, the... I'm not sure it's, whether it's called in English the extraction petroleum, uh, but this is uh, safe for the rubber, so for example for the uh, redrailer um, pulleys, uh, rubber seals, uh, and this is pretty good for the chain, so extraction petroleum, probably. If you've got such an e-bike, you need to start with a small trick. First I'm applying the pressure from above and from below, squeezing the chain like that. And then we apply pressure from the sides, left and right. Then a little of my degreaser. The external links are clean from the outside, but the internal one, the inner one here are still dirty. In order to clean inside of the chain we have basically three options. Some kind of uh, brushes, the original drivetrain brushes, uh, I'm gonna show you how they work, or just the toothbrush or two connected with each other, or a shoelace. I'm going to start with the shoelace from the connecting pin of the quick link. After getting back to the pin or the quick link, now I'm going around it here uh, from the bottom. 
This is the most time-consuming method, quite uh, precise. Uh, but I would rather use the brush, you know, be that precise, but much quicker. Finally, a clean rug. Now we don't need oil here on the external uh, surface of the links. We don't need oil in between the links here. We need the oil only here, number one, number two, number three, number four. This is quite dense roll of uh, oil which I'm using for e-bikes only uh, and that's why I'm not only putting it on this side of the chain because it might not get uh, through it to the other side. I will put a little bit on this side as well. Now about 50 circles and I'm gonna clean, wipe off the excess from the chain.